I was suffering from a congested heart failure. I'd been in three other hospitals before I came to this hospital. And when they kept me upstairs, uh, they brought me down to the CHF clinic. I came in on a stretcher. I didn't have strength enough hardly to get off the stretcher. They took me off the stretcher and put me in a chair and started treatment on me. And after three visits to the CHF clinic, I started getting to the point where I would get out of bed upstairs more than what I had before. I never thought that I would get to the point or to the, my body would get to the point where it is now that I wouldn't have pains and that I would be able to walk again. I'm very pleased at the help that I got here at Christ. Uh, it's so, like I say, the nurses, the doctors here are so encouraging to explain to you what is wrong. They didn't try to hide anything from me, but they explained to me what was wrong and the help that I needed. And they started immediately giving me the help that I needed, and I feel great. Well, I think we, uh, we finally convinced Mr. Sinclair to come to the clinic after he had been hospitalized multiple times. He was really advanced. He could barely get around the room. He was short of breath with any activity. And I promised him that we would do everything we could. And I also promised him that we would go in baby steps as long as each step was a step forward. And uh, really, uh, we were fortunate to be able to do that. Well, I'm not surprised where he is today. I'm, I'm proud of where he is. Um, and above everything else, what I see when I see Mr. Sinclair and his wife is the dramatic change in quality of his life, the quality of his life. And I think he'll tell you um, was one that put him in a, a a state of mind where he thought there was no hope, that things couldn't be better. He was hospitalized over 30 times. Each time, certain approaches were used, and he didn't get any better. And I think he really felt that there was no hope. And so that, I think, was the first and the most important step was to create hope for him, not false hope, but realistic hope that there were things yet that could be done. And that's really what the Heart Failure Clinic here does. When I first met Mr. Sinclair, Mr. Sinclair was almost too tired to speak. Uh, he had severe medical issues, multiple hospitalizations, and I knew what was going to be most important is for me to build a relationship with the Sinclairs so that we could be honest with each other and work with each other for the long term. And with their help, we've been able to manage his care and bring him to the place he is today. Um, instrumental in that was working with Dr. Silver, an advanced heart failure specialist, in order to put him on the right medications and make sure that the therapies were correct for his needs. Uh, here at the clinic, we do a whole range of services, ranging from screening and prevention for patients at risk for heart failure to treating patients with advanced heart failure who might need therapies like left ventricular assist devices or heart transplantation. Truly one of our core strengths at this clinic, however, is evaluating and seeing patients who've been in the hospital, who are at risk for being rehospitalized, and see what else we can do to improve the quality of life they have and make them feel better overall.